Tuesday, 11th of August 2015. Paper Halas. First, let's look at the Paper Halas from Daily Mirror. Candidates banned from state functions. Elections Commissioner Mahinda Deshapriya has banned all forms of state functions with the participation of political party candidates from today till August 18th. As such, no project can be launched or inaugurated during this period at institutions coming under the purview of central government, provincial council or local authorities. Another highlight from Daily Mirror. Tajuddin's body exhumed, sent for forensic examination. The body of rugby player Wasim Tajuddin was exhumed last morning from his grave at the Dehiwala Jumma Mosque Cemetery on an order issued by the Colombo Additional Magistrate Nishanta Pieris. Another highlight from Daily Mirror. SC wants SC report on MR. The Supreme Court yesterday directed the Attorney General to submit the security assessment report on former President Mahinda Rajapaksa issued by the State Intelligence Service. More highlights from Daily Mirror. Husband's disappearance. Sandhya blames Rajapaksa regime. Missing journalist Pragit Eknali Goda's wife Sandhya yesterday requested the army to hand over any army officers connected to the disappearance of her husband to the CID. Another highlight from Daily Mirror. Pakistan tourist has narrow shave. A tourist who was enjoying an elephant ride at an elephant safari center in Randania on the Rambukana Kagol Road had a harrowing experience when the elephant in a frenzy attempted to unseat the tourist and throw him off its back. Another highlight from Daily Mirror. FCID summons for Namal. Former parliamentarian Namal Rajapaksa said yesterday he had been summoned by the Financial Crimes Investigation Division on August 12th. Another highlight from Daily Mirror. Biometric passports. Now, the Department of Immigration and Emigration began issuing the new biometric passports to Sri Lankans who queued up in their hundreds since yesterday morning with the authorities experiencing some technical glitches in their automated systems. More highlights from Daily Mirror. Kalmune will be turned into a modern township. Ranil. If elected to office, the United National Front for Good Governance will expand and develop Kalmune in the Ampara district by reclaiming a swath of land from the sea and turn it into a modern township, Prime Minister Ranil Vikramasinghe said. Another highlight from Daily Mirror. Dallas warns of threat to national security. Matra District UPFA candidate Dallas Salah Peruma said yesterday Sri Lanka's national security and territorial integrity was under threat under the 19th Amendment which prevented the dissolution of Parliament till four and a half years into its term of office. Now let's move to the paper highlights from Daily News. Wasim Tajuddin exclamation. Rugby Star's body exhumed amidst tight security. The body of Raghurit Wasim Tajuddin was exhumed yesterday in the presence of his relatives, Mount Lavinia Additional Magistrate Raharsha Ranasinghe and a team of judicial medical officers led by Colombo Chief Medical Officer Dr. Ajit Tenakun. The body of former Havelock's Captain Tajuddin was exhumed on the orders of Colombo Additional Magistrate Nishanta Pieris at the Juma Mosque burial grounds on Dehiwala. Massive protest demanding justice. Hundreds of people who gathered opposite the Juma Mosque Dehiwala yesterday staged a protest demanding the officials to conduct a full-scale inquiry into the death of former Havelock's rugby captain Wasim Tajuddin. No questions over identity. Colombo Chief Medical Officer Dr. Ajit Tenakun yesterday said that no suspicion rose over the identification of the body of Raghurit Wasim Tajuddin, who died in mysterious circumstances in Narahan Pitta in May 2012. He said Tajuddin's body was identified by family members at the exhumation at the Juma Mosque burial grounds. Another highlight from Daily News. Sajin's bail application rejected. Colombo High Court Judge Padmini Ranavaka Gunatilaka yesterday rejected the bail application filed by former UPFA MP Sajin Was Gunavardhana through his counsel. Former MP Was Gunavardhana arrested over the alleged misuse of vehicles at the Presidential Secretariat Office was on remand until today on the orders of the 4th Magistrate. Another highlight from Daily News. Manusha's driver remanded. Gold District UPFA candidate Manusha Nanayakara's driver were arrested in connection with an accident where a 76-year-old motorcyclist died in Imadua on Sunday was remanded until August 20th by Gaul Additional Magistrate K. Samaradiwakara. Another highlight from Daily News. Sergeant Major confesses to grilling Eknelli Goda. Eknelli Goda was questioned about Family Tree publication and his alleged affiliations 
with Sarat Fonseca. The Criminal Investigation Department's investigations into the disappearance of journalist Pragit Eknaligoda made a vital breakthrough with the sergeant major who was arrested by the police on Sunday, confessing that he interrogated Eknaligoda at the Giritala Army Camp. The sergeant major, believed to have been involved in the mysterious abduction of journalist Pragit Eknaligoda, was taken into custody at Kurunagala on Sunday. Another highlight from Daily News. Lunagam Vehera left high and dry by Mahinda, PM. Prime Minister Ranil Vikramasinghe has said since Mahinda Rajapaksa was executive president for 10 years, he expected that at least 150 to 200 factories would have been built by his government in the Lunagam Vehera area under his stewardship. More highlights from Daily News. Namal before FCID tomorrow. UPFA parliamentarian Namal Rajapaksa has been summoned to the Financial Crimes Investigation Division on August 12th. In a Twitter message, Rajapaksa said this was another attempt to disrupt his campaign. I have been called to the FCID on August 12th. In the end, all these election tactics won't work. However, police spokesman ASP Rohan Gunasekara, when contacted by the Daily News, said that he was not aware of Rajapaksa being summoned to the FCID. Another highlight from Daily News. Major General Prasannadi Silva transferred. Major General Prasannadi Silva, who was linked to the white van controversy in Mirihana a few weeks ago, has been transferred out to the Commando Regiment, highly placed army sources told the Daily News. Brigadier Ralph Nugera has been appointed as the new head of the Commando Regiment. Nugera is expected to assume duties on August 19th. Now let's move to the paper highlights from Ceylon today. Sri Tunga Jayasuriya reports UPFA supporters. USP supporters come under Papa attack. A group of United People's Freedom Alliance supporters have assaulted supporters of United Socialist Party who were passing posters announcing one of their rallies. USP leader Sri Tunga Jayasuriya said. Another highlight from Ceylon today. Remains of Tajuddin exhumed in the presence of deceased relatives. Remains of the deceased rugby player Wasin Tajuddin was exhumed yesterday at the Grand Juma Mosque in Dehiwala. Another highlight from Ceylon today. Election Day Security. Police in full force. Police department will deploy 70,549 officers to provide protection on 17th August, the day of the general election. Out of that number, 4,825 STF officers will be deployed to create mobile barriers. Police spokesman ASP Ruan Gunasekra said 24,798 police officers will be deployed to provide security to 12,399 polling centers. We brought you the paper highlights from today's newspapers and we will bring you more tomorrow.